Hi everyone, welcome back to the Project Corner. Today is very special. I'm going to do an interview together with Lillian. Lillian is one of my colleagues at Projectum and we're going to talk about the Office Exporter. The Office Exporter is an ideal tool for any project manager. It has the power to generate documentation as well as PowerPoints. So without further ado, let's bring in Lillian. All right, Lillian, welcome to the Project Corner. This Thank is you. this is the first interview that we're doing, mm -hmm. and um, well, what we're going to look at is Office Exporter, and Office Exporter is a product that Projectum created, it, and uh, you took under your wing, we could say, yeah. where. It is the tool that you you picked up, you started experimenting with it, and you have some nice presentations and you have some real use cases with it as well. Um, I have this section in my uh, YouTube channel that contains apps and macros. Mm -hmm. Well, it isn't a macro, right? It nope. is a real full-blown app, and yes. you can get that with the, um, the Office Store. You can. Um, but before we dive into uh, the details and we'll do a demo, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Lillian? <laughs> I'm um, actually I'm coming from the project management world, which is why I think that the, I found the office board so interesting. Um, so I've spent about 10, 11 years uh, as a project manager. Um, I was part of a project, uh, not a project, but a company where we um, did not have a project office when I started. So we, uh, we grew and with that grew the need to have a project office. So I was actually part of building up that project office from, from scratch, yeah. uh, starting out as a, as a project manager and um, ending up as the, uh, the head of the project management uh, office. With all the, um, the, the problems and the, uh, the the stupid decisions that you make during that and learning from that those mistakes and, and hopefully making good decisions mm -hmm. after that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so so I've tried most of these uh, things on my own great you've been on the other own. side I have I have <laughs> for many years <laughs> yeah for me it's, it's still uh, I've, I'm a consultant now for nine years. Mm. Uh, running into my 10th year, so there's an anniversary party there. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, it's always being on the side of consultant, and you've been on the other side. You know the frustrations of the project managers. And we had a short discussion before the video, and you mentioned that uh, one of the uh, frustrating parts is reporting and yeah. getting structure within your reports and uh, as a project manager you have frequent reports that you need to um, uh, need to provide your management with and those reports need to be there every month or for hardcore projects it's maybe even every week exactly and you spend so much time copy pasting finding the right information did i actually update it do i need it from someone else yeah. then you spend all the time trying to put that into a document and that can either be a SharePoint list for some, it can be Excel, it can be Word, it can be PowerPoint, usually it's PowerPoint, right? Because yeah, then yeah, you yeah. want to have some extra information, you can put it on the uh, the overhead, or not. that's not what it calls today, a mm. projector. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, what we usually see when and that, I actually figured it out when I started working here as a consultant, is that we usually tend to build these big systems where we focus on the portfolios because we have the, the management wanting to get the information and they, they need to be able to rely on the data. So we, what we actually do is that we ask all the project managers to put in all this data, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they still have to do all the manual tasks in order to yeah, grab their yeah. reports because they don't use Power BI, they don't no. use Excel, they need the PowerPoint. Yeah. Um, and when they actually have spent all this time making the PowerPoints, and if you have 10 different project managers, they have 10 different versions of it because they have each their own template. Yeah, yeah. So when you as a uh, the, the project, um, the head of the project uh, office, for example, you have to go through all these, you don't know where to find. For example, if I'm looking for the KPI for the uh, resources, then I have to look 10 different places to actually be able to see how is it going with the report, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The, uh, the resources. Um, so 
using the object explorer which is basically allows you to set up a template a fixed template with these little html tags in them mm -hmm. which means that when you press the button the, the project manager they can go into the project online the system they put in the information that they need and they know now it's correct now and they always do that five minutes before the meeting, right? Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the that's the peak <laughs> exactly. of project online exactly. use, right? Exactly. This is where the system goes down because yeah. everyone is in there. Yeah, and it, <laughs> it it shouldn't be any different, right? No. Because uh, the normal day's work for a project manager is running the actual project. Yes. So uh, what I tend to say uh, to to clients that I visit, I want to have your footprint on the system as minimum as possible. Yeah. And with the Office Exporter, you actually have a button that says Generate Report. Exactly. So you and put in the information, you push the button, yeah. and then you get the report. You have it straight away, yeah. you can run to your meeting. Yeah, so there's a single source of truth mm -hmm. within your project detail pages, mm -hmm. within your project online, the environment that the project manager uses to update his system. Mm -hmm. So there's no need for finding things because you already work with the things yeah. that you need to yeah. report on. And then you can have the question, but but it's not just project online. I also have SharePoint lists, or I have the, the schedule. We can pull information from all the custom fields in the uh, solution in project online, all mm -hmm. the standard fields. We can pull information from all the uh, SharePoint lists that you got set up, mm -hmm. whether that be root site lists or the project site lists. Yeah. We can pull information from the, uh, the schedule. We cannot generate the um, the Gantt chart or timeline and stuff like that, but we can pull all these. We can go in and say, I only want to show milestones, or yeah. I want to s to show the uh, the activity the activities that we closed during the last month, for example. Yeah. Or show how far along we are, how how uh, the, how complete is the task. We can do all that, or we can pull information about engagements. We can put in who is actually assigned to these tasks or to to the project yeah. itself. Yeah, and that's good because. In a report, you wouldn't want to bother senior management with a Gantt chart because that's exactly. why they're not in Project Online, right? Exactly. So um, we have tables that we can pull in, mm -hmm. tables with data that comes from OData. If you're a technical guy, mm -hmm. that's the feed that we actually use for reports. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that triggered me was uh, we were on a client um, in the Netherlands and there was the need for images yes. in Office Exporter as well uh, because they build these huge factories and they want a visual representation of that factory. How far along are we? Mm -hmm. um, so you spoke about not being able to enter the timeline within that, but actually in project you have the option to copy the timeline to an image. Yeah. So there are ways around getting actual the data that yes. you need. Exactly. The same as KPIs. Yeah. Uh, when I actually first started uh, here at the Projectum, um, I don't know, a year and a half ago, um, the Office Exporter was only able to actually put text values into the documents. Yeah. Yeah. So you couldn't, if you had a KPI, you, most companies do, they have a couple, and to, then yeah. you could only put in green, red, yellow. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. couldn't convert it to, to images unless you used a macro, but a lot of company, uh, the IT security does not allow you to use macros. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually updated the uh, Office Exporter to be able to do that. So today you can convert your uh, your KPIs to um, to colors, so you can yeah. get little icons instead. You can uh, you can include the uh, the process image if you have a, a nice picture to show how far along in your stage gate model are you. Yeah, you can yeah. put that into the report. Great. A lot of examples of all that, and as you mentioned, you can put images of the project team or of building sites or whatever into the uh, the document folder, and then we can pull that into the reports as well. So we can yeah. make it very visually interesting, uh, as well as having real data in it. Yes, yes, that is awesome. And when people go into the office store, they will find Office Exporter, mm -hmm. and will there be manuals in there as well? Um, yes. We first good. off we have a uh, one month free trial, so you can just go in, try it out, and we have documentation in there. When you when you download it to your system, then you open it up in there. You have a how to. There are four tiles, I think. You have a how to tile, which gives you the the uh, the install. Um, mm -hmm. description and then you have a very huge document actually good, <laughs> very nice good. document explaining everything into details 
how do you pull data from your project? How do you pull data from your timeline or no from your from your schedule? How do you pull all this? How do I actually put these items into the document? What do I write? How do I put in tables? <laughs> Everything in there. How do I convert it to uh, to images and all that? So right. you have a very, very um, I don't know the uh, the word in English, but it's a very easy to follow guide. Okay. I mean, I did it without any. When I started out, when I didn't know anything about Project yeah, Online yeah, yeah. or SharePoint, I was actually able to install this uh, this app in my own demo environment, which Good. I think we're going to see at some point, um, and actually set up a report, awesome. pulling data yeah. without asking anyone, only with the help of that documentation. Yeah. So anyone that downloaded the Office Exporter has two options: either RTFM or call us and we'll do the uh, installation and help you along. But this is a Office exporter and this is a Office store item. It's mm -hmm. a map, mm -hmm. you can download it today. Um, with that said, let's have some uh, demo. Welcome to, um, to a monkey business. This is my, uh, my demo environment that I, um, I used to present. I usually also uh, test out new things in here, so, um, so it might sometimes look a little uh, off, but most of the times it's, it's a very good environment. But what I wanted to show you here is that now I'm a project manager. I, I need to go in and update my data as we talked about before. So I'm in a hurry because I have to run to a meeting in five minutes. I go in here, I have some basic data. I probably need to find out who is uh, there, if there's a new date or if there's any of the basic information that I need to update. I do that. Or I can just go to my project status page, which is where I actually generate the uh, the status um, project, the project status document that I need to um, to bring to the meeting. Let's see here, and on this page I have a number of KPIs that I need to update. I have something for time, for budget, for scope, for quality, pretty standard KPIs. So I can go in here when it loads correctly. And then I can set my KPIs. I can put in comments for them if I need to do that. Mm -hmm. And then I have a general one here. In my case here, it's actually uh, calculated based on the other ones. So if any mm -hmm. of them are red, then I cannot set my general project status to anything but red because yeah, yeah. that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. And <laughs> this, is, uh, this is Project Online, including some of the Projectum customizations. I see the lookup table is a bit different. Yes. And... Um, any other things that you would like to um, tell the audience before we push the button? <laughs> Does it actually generate information about, for instance, uh, risks as well, yes. or any SharePoint lists? I actually have in my, and this is uh, and this is one of the places where I'm testing out new things here because I actually have a power up in my environment here. Great. Not that we're demoing that today, but yes, I can go in here. This is actually just uh, a risk list that, that most people know it. Mm -hmm. uh, I have the list below here, so this is the standard list, yep. and I'm just showing it in a matrix instead. So if I select my project here, and again, this is just the demo environment, right? So I wouldn't select my project actually in the real it world. It would already be yes. there. Yep. So now I can see my, my risks here in a matrix. But yes, I could go in here and I could update one of these risks. I actually did so before just to mm -hmm. play the TV kitchen, yeah. so I can see that the score has changed since last. So I'm obviously pulling my risks into my project report because they are important, right? Uh, they tend yeah. to be, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they should be anyway. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And uh, I have another video on uh, the project corner where uh, I create a risk matrix in Power BI. Yeah. So this is an excellent addition to that video and I would put a link in the show notes. Um, but. Let's start generating. Yeah, and that's actually a, a, a little comment on the matrix here because I'm actually going to show you a risk matrix in my Office Exporter report, mm -hmm. but that is not one of the uh, the easy parts to build. When you understand, when you get a, a good understanding of the Office Exporter, how it works, then you can build it, or mm -hmm. if you're used to building the Power BI reports. Mm -hmm. But it takes a little more to, to set that up, and I would probably... Right call us to uh, to do that All but right. feel free to try it out if you <laughs> yeah okay. if you feel frisky <laughs> yeah yeah so so there are complex things that you can do with it of course and yes. um the basics uh really tend to be enough for most companies it is it and is. uh for a table it's just a flick of the wrist yes and for the matrix 
Yeah, just to have Lillian come over. Exactly. She, I would love to come over. She's just in the Netherlands me. now. She normally <laughs> is in Denmark, so she travels it around. So don't worry. Yes. It was actually quite fast, it the was, generating. Yes, it is. And this is actually, it, it takes time. I, uh, I clicked the button before when I was ready. And it actually, it, it takes time, obviously. And if you have a very large PowerPoint with pictures in it, I studied pictures, it takes longer time to create the document. But yes, most of the time. It actually does not take that long. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have to wait and I don't have to uh, to panic because it's not working or whatever. And the beauty of this is that obviously I'm a project manager. This is my project. I have access to, to see this project and actually edit it. So mm -hmm. I can press the button. And we have clients where we have uh, limited the uh, functionality here. So only the project manager can press that button. It's Good. not even visible for others or others can see the button, but they can't press it. So we can put those permissions on it. And when I press the button here, now I open it straight from the uh, the downloads folder because I'm downloading the document. Mm -hmm. But if you have a project site, you actually need to have a project site related to your project if you yeah. use this functionality. Because what it true. does, it, it stores the generated document in that project folder for this project. Great. So the team members with access to that folder can see the generated project status report even add documentation to that if exactly. needed and you can see yeah. you have Good. the uh, the historic data so if, if you put in the um, you can see here I have the the date that we generated the document so when I press Good. it again tomorrow then I have both the one from today and the one from tomorrow so I can go mm -hmm. back and see how did my KPIs actually look a month ago or two months ago and I can compare the two Great. It's very nice, and you don't have you don't even have to do anything here. <laughs> yeah, and and we we're, we're talking about PowerPoint a lot, and um, it is the go-to location to do reports if you're not an Excel savvy guy. Mm -hmm. uh, but PowerPoint is just one endpoint, right? Mm -hmm. Where we can also generate Word documents. Yeah, and we actually have and a lot of clients using Word instead because you have. It's more suited to have more or less the, the full version of the, the, the status. So PowerPoint is more used for the summary. Actually, in my dem demo environment here, I have the summary version in PowerPoint and then I have the full. So I have the full list of activities to be carried out within a month, for example, yeah. or the, the full list of risks, whereas this one just shows you some of them. Great. Because you can obviously in PowerPoint, and that's a, a standard feature in PowerPoint, you cannot mm. let a table uh, expand over more than one slide, so yep. you have to limit it to top five risks or top ten risks, whatever you have time or place for. Really, where in Word savvy. you can have the full list. Yeah, we're really yes. management savvy these PowerPoints, so that's yes. great. Yeah, and this this is just created from a template that yes. was preset with uh, HTML tags. Mm -hmm. And that is what the Office Explorer does, right? Yes, it, it grabs is. that yeah. information. Um, does it grab uh, published data? Yeah, it does yes, it because does. it's old yes, data, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, it does. It has the day of today, so people will know that we pre-recorded this. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that. So, uh, walk us but through the presentation. I get the question often, uh, actually, that can I edit the document afterwards? If I need to put in additional information or if I need to put in an image that I haven't put into the document folder. And yes, this is a standard PowerPoint document that is just put in some values from Project yeah. Online. You can go in afterwards and edit it. I would always recommend, obviously, to have all the project relevant data in Project Online because yep. if you put it into the document, it's only stored in that one local document. Sure. But you can edit it. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, you're also very keen on Power Apps and Flow. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment that this presentation is created, it creates a PowerPoint within a SharePoint folder. And that could be a trigger for Flow, where it would create a new power, uh, um, new uh, PDF file, mm -hmm. so that you have compliance uh, technically uh, watertight documentation. Yes. Because some organizations don't actually allow you to change a status report after it was created. Exactly. So that's also in here. Yeah. And the beauty Great. of SharePoint is that you actually have the tracking, so you can see when the document was created, and you can see if anyone modified it afterwards as well. So even yeah, though you don't good. PDF it, you can still verify that nobody actually changed the document after you created it. 
It's such a good tool. It is. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I and, have to uh, say that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is the um, the front page of it. This is just the image. It's a static image that I put in because I think it looks nice. I have the logo of my company. And I have, uh, this is also just a fixed uh, text. Whereas this is the project name mm -hmm. that I pulled from Project Online. And the date, I pulled that. That's just, that's actually from the document. So this is the date where the document was created. Good. So this is actually not from Project Online. This is document relevant information, but we can do that as well. Good, good. Then I have a slide. I made this obviously to, to, um, to kind of replic replicate the, uh, the use case where if I was a project manager, I would have to report on these things. So I have the basic information about the project uh, in Latin, of course, as we mm -hmm. all do. Yeah. Uh, we have when did we start the project, when is it supposed to end. I can see that I'm a little late here in actually mm -hmm. finishing my project. Don't Next worry. review date. Who's <laughs> 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 yeah. the project manager? That's me. And then I have some, uh, apparently we don't Edition. have a chairman, but we have steer co-members. That's why we're late, mm -hmm. probably. That's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> but everything in, on that slide was from Project Online, just text, nothing serious. The um, here, this one is not red because it's conditional formatting. Formatting. I just put it in red because it's important. Yeah. No matter if we it's overdue or not. Good. Then I have one slide here, and uh, it might look a little messy. It's uh, depending on what you <laughs> what you like. But in this case, I just wanted to show that we can get all our KPIs. And again, we can see they're all red. We're not happy with this project. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 We have uh, comments for each of the, every one of them, or the time and quality, we did not put in comments. Maybe we didn't want to say something about that. But here we have the values from Project Online. It's just a text saying yeah. red, and then I convert that into an, an image. image. It's yeah. actually formatting. If you know something about uh, these uh, HTML tags and how to do that, then you know that you can format the, um, for example, if you go back here, update here, the value that we get from Project Online is actually, or in this case from the document, is actually both the, the the day, the month, the year, and the timestamp. Oh. But here I formatted it so I only show the date because I don't want the time on it. It doesn't yeah. make sense. And this so is we do the same here uh, yeah. where we format the, the, the text value as a picture. Yeah, and remember this is a template, so it is done once yes. for the whole environment. And if your organization has a nice marketing department, they might want to have their versions of these KPI um, uh, images. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cool. So in this one, this uh, here I pulled data from uh, the schedule. I've set it to, if I remember correctly, to show the upcoming activities. I only actually pull the tasks, not the milestones. So I sort them out or filter them out. I show when is this task supposed to start, when it's supposed to end, and how far along is it actually? Have we started the task yet? Two percent. Yeah, so <laughs> we have a little work to do. Uh, sure, before. sure. Before that's why it was red, right? <laughs> yeah, yep. but the problem is actually with this project. We uh, we can see here that we have actually come to the testing phase. That's a bit off if we mm. don't if we still have a lot of things to do here, especially the scoping. <laughs> but yeah. we can see here this is just the value from I have a, a custom field with the um, the stage. How far along uh, are we? I'm not using workflows for this project type because. I'm, I'm not really a fan of the old fashioned workflow engine unless mm -hmm. I have to do complex project types. Yeah. So in this case, I just have a custom field that controls the image shown. Great. Yes. Great. And I can pull that into here exactly the same way as I did for the KPI pictures. It's just a value converting that to a picture. So nothing fancy, it just looks fancy. It looks yeah. more interesting than just having text. Yeah, and this looks awesome. This is the risk matrix. This is the risk matrix. So yeah. the one we had before where I showed it very quickly in a power app. Now I just put it into here and here is actually just to give you a little tips and tricks here. If you want to try it out yourself, this is actually four tables where I just, I have the risk IDs in, in columns in a list in an intermediate list. So you can actually do this. Um, but still call me, I'll come visit. Yeah. She's a lovely person. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't be scared. No. And then wow. here I could, of course, I have uh, in newer versions, put the, the list into the same slide as the matrix, because then you have the same information. So here we have the IDs that we saw from the, uh, the matrix. We have the, the risk name and then the mitigation, because that's obviously important as well. And then we have the score. And what you see here is since I played TV kitchen and I, I updated my risk before we started recording here, you can see that here, 
since last week or last month since I last did something here this score has actually gone down so I'm mm -hmm. assuming that uh, it's not as big a risk as it used to be yeah, but in this case analysis. this is not good exactly you right. can do this um, and we couldn't really since it's a table PowerPoint does not allow you to have pictures and tables mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. a standard feature we cannot get around that because we are not building something here we're just no. using the standard PowerPoint features but yep. what we can actually do is that we can convert we can have a table with a, with a value that we can actually use just in this case I use web things or wing uh, things and uh, then of course, I yeah. know that M is uh, arrow down and mm. Q or something is the arrow up Great. so I just have an HTML tag with that value and I format it as a web thing or wind thing and then I get the arrows boom all right with, with that said this was a great demo of Office Exporter. Not much technical, and it shouldn't be much technical because that's in the documentation. If you download it from the Office Store, you will get that how-to guide, extensive documentation. And uh, as Lillian mentioned, she joined Projectum one and a half years ago. She had no experience with SharePoint or Project Online. And she just picked up that document and started experimenting, and this is where she's at. And that was it, the presentation uh, by Lillian about the Office Exporter. If you would like to get your own copy of the application, just head over to the Office Store. I've put a link in the show notes. And if you would like to see Lillian back for, for instance, the Portfolio Exporter, just put it in the comments below. And I will see you in two weeks.